हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम कैलाशन कटारिया आई एम एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एट बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ गर्ल्स कॉलेज जयपुर इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल टाइप द ऑल टाइप ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल टाइप ऑफ नॉन पोलर अमाइनो एसिड बेसिकली और इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पोलर और अनचार्ज अमाइनो एसिड सो बेसिकली देर इज ए ट्रिक फ्रॉम दिस ट्रिक वी कैन इजिली लर्न दैट हाउ मेनी टाइप ऑफ पोलर अनचार्ज अमाइनो एसिड सो दिस इज द ट्रिक इज सी एस TTAG. What is CSTTAG? CSTTAG is Chanchal Singh TTAG. So basically, TTA is a technical post. Okay. So we can easily learn uh, all all type of polar and charged amino acid, all all type of the uh, of the structures of the amino acid by this this uh, uh, trick. So basically, what is C C cysteine, serine, threonine, tyrosine, asparagine, and glutamine. So in this video lecture we will be discussing about all type of of the structure of amino. So basically acid. we are going to discuss about the structure of amino acid, uh, polar and charged. So the first one we can form all the uh, structure of polar and charged amino acid from alanine. So basically this is the structure of amino acid. Okay. So from this uh, alanine, if I replace this one hydrogen with the SH group, okay, then what I get? i will get cysteine okay so basically this is also the structure of alanine and from this alanine if i replace one hydrogen with the oh group hydroxyl group then what i get i will get serine so this will be the serine amino acid or in the next this is also the alanine if i replace one h then i will get one h and i will replace with this oh group this is also serine and i have to replace with uh, one hydrogen with also with ch3 group then I, what i will get i will get threonine so basically i have formed three amino acids the structure of tyrosine uh, mean all type of uh, polar and uncharged uh, structure can be easily formed from alanine so this is the structure of again alanine and if i replace this uh, one hydrogen which with phenyl group that is c6h5h then i will get phenyl alanine in this phenyl alanine i have to place a tire tire mean uh, basically there is a oh group then i will get tyrosine so this is the structure of tyrosine and the next one is this is again alanine and i have to replace one h with the co NH2 group, then I will get glutamine. Sorry, uh, this is the structure of asparagine. Asparagine, okay. And again, this is the alanine. I have to replace one H with the CO NH2, and I have to place again a CH2 group also. So basically, this is the structure of glutamine. So I have formed. All type of polar and uncharged from alanine. Here we are going to discuss about the negatively charged amino acid. So negatively charged amino acid can also be formed from alanine. And there are two negatively charged amino acid, which is D and E. That is aspartate, and second one is glutamate. So the structure of aspartate can also be easily formed from uh, alanine. So this is the alanine, and I have to replace one H plus atom with the uh, with the help of COO negative. So this negative group, uh, CO negative is providing negative charge to the aspartate. So this is the structure of aspartate, and the next one is glutamate. So the structure of glutamate can also be formed from alanine. So this is the alanine, and replace one H group with. Uh, you have to place one CH2 group also, and thereafter CO negative. So basically, this is the structure of. aspartate and glutamate okay. uh, the next one is positively charged amino acid so basically there are three positively charged amino acid that is histidine arginine and lysine so first one uh, uh, this po polar positively charged amino acid can also be found from alanine so basically uh, first one uh, i am just gonna, going to write the first one is lysine so for lysine can be easily found from alanine so basically this is the Uh, you have to place four CH2 group, one, two, three, and four, and thereafter you need to place a amine group, NH3 plus group. So this uh, 
positive group is providing positive charge to to lysine so basically this is the structure of lysine or uh, in the second i am going to form uh, the structure of arginine so in the arginine you need to place there are how many four ch2 group in this arginine you need to place three ch2 group and thereafter a carbon and a amine group then again an amine group with double bond and this will be having positive charge and uh, there will be you need to place nh so basically this is the structure of arginine so both structure can be easily formed from alanine so in the lysine there are four ch2 group and one amine group and in the arginine arginine is having three ch2 group and uh, this amine group is providing positive charge to the arginine so the last one is histidine so the structure of histidine can be can also be formed this is the ch2 group thereafter you need to place a five membrane ring so this is the five member ring and you need to place ch group and nh group in a alternative form so basically this is the carbon and this is this is the carbon and there will be two uh, uh, double bond uh, carbon is having four valency four okay now nh ch and again nh group and this will be having positive charge and this will be ch group so basically this is the structure of histidine so we can say that all type of polar amino acid structure can be easily formed from from alanine so uh, uh, we have discussed about all the structure of amino acids uh, thank you so much